Right, now we're going to talk about probability. Probably the easiest way for me to talk about probability is to get a coin out and to ask what would, is the probability that when I toss this coin it will come up on heads. You should all know that. It's one in two. It's a half. Because one, there's two possible outcomes. There's heads and there's tails. So the probability of me getting heads, so the probability prob of heads is one in two. There's two outcomes, and there's one, only one, that gives me what I need. Similarly, we could talk about a big bag with some coloured balls in it. So in this bag, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten balls. Some of them are black, some of them are white, some of them are green. Okay, so what is the probability that I'm going to pull out a green ball? Well, how many green balls are there? One, two, three, four, five. So there's five green balls. How many balls are in total? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 10 in total. So the probability of me playing a green ball is 5 in 10. Let's go back to our fractions. Remember, 5 in 10 just equals 1 in 2. So that's the probability of getting a green ball. What about the probability of getting a white ball? Well, in this case, there's 2. So it's 2 in 10, which again cancels down to 1 in 5. So there's a 1 in 5 chance I'm going to pull out a white ball. There's a 1 in 2 chance I'm going to pull out a green ball. What about, okay, so I pull out a green ball. And I then go, well, well let's say there's sweets. I pull out a green sweet. Mmm, yum, yum, eat the green sweet. What's the probability? The next sweet I pull out is still going to be green. Well, now I've lost a green sweet out of the bag. So now there's one, two, three, four green sweets, and there's only nine left in the bag. So now the probability is nine. It's four in nine. So it's changed. So we need to always be thinking about what the probability is now, because a lot of questions will ask you to do things where they ask you. Pull out a green ball, now what's the probability of getting it? And so on and so on. Now, I mean, we look at the blacks, and the probability of a black now is three and nine, or a third. So the probability has changed. Now, if only probability was that easy, it'd be great. But probability is a, li a little bit more involved than that. So let's say I toss my coin three times. Now, what's the probability that I'm going to get heads three times? So, what are all the outcomes we could get? That's what we need to know. How many balls are in that bag? So I could have heads, heads, heads. I could have heads, heads, tails. I could have heads, tails, heads. I could have tails, heads, heads. I could have tails, tails, tails. I could have tails, Tails, heads, I could have tails, heads, tails, and I could have tails, heads, heads. They are all the possible outcomes I could get from tossing a coin three times. Now what's the probability of me getting all heads? It's also all three heads. The probability is 1 out of how many outcomes? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 out of 8. 1 in 8 chance I'm going to get all heads. What about the probability that I'm going to get at least 2 heads, a minimum of 2 heads? So I've got at least 2 heads there. I've got at least 2 heads there. I've got 2 heads there. I've got 2 heads there. I really do apologise. That should have been head, tail, tail. No, 
tail head head. Anyway, so they are four there that could have a minimum of two heads in them. So I've got so at least two heads. Is four in eight, or is it half? Okay. The problem is you're getting uh, exactly two heads cropping up. I'd suddenly lose this one. So the prob probability of getting two heads. is just three in eight, not four, because we lose this one. And that's important that we have this at least in there. Now, we're not gonna want to do this every single time. We need, we have multiple outcomes. It would be an absolute nightmare if I wanted to go eight in a row to write all the possible outcomes of eight tosses of the coin. So we need a rule, we need to know what it is. Well, actually, the probability of getting heads is a half. The probability of getting heads again is another half. And the probability of getting heads again is another half. So head and head and head. We actually just times the probabilities together. We find that the probability is one in eight. So when we're doing probabilities, if we've got an and, it means we have to multiply. So if I so if we go up back to our bag of sweets, okay, we're back to our bag of sweets. This time we've got some different sweets in there, okay? And we've got two blues. Okay, so if I picked, what's the probability that I'll pick a green first? Well, that's probably that in two picks I'll pick a green and a blue in my first two picks. There is the word and, we need to times it. So what's the probability of us picking a green? One, two, three, four, five in, how many are there in there? There's 11, so five and 11 times by two, times by two in 11. Okay, because we're gonna put the green back in after we pick it. So I pick a green one, put it back in, and then pick a blue one. So that will give me a grand total of 10 in 121. Now if I didn't put it back in, what if I picked a green or a blue, then ate it, and then another green or a blue. Well, in that case, I'm going to have to do the two separate outcomes. So I, the first thing that could happen is I'd get pick a green, which is 5 and 11, and then a blue, which would then be 2 and 10. So then I would have a grand total of 10 out of 110, or 1. In 11. Okay? But then I also would, then I could have had 2 in 11 times by 5 in 10, which gives me the same thing again. Okay? Which gives me 10 out of 110, which is 1 in 11. Okay? So the actual probability, I'd have to add them together because it could be this outcome or this outcome and an or equals an add in probability terms so 1 over 11 add 1 in 11 so it would equal 2 in 11 so we need to remember that an and is a times and an or is a plus
Okay? So, again, we go back to our bag of sweets. Back to a bag of sweets. This time there's one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 nine. Time there's a total of 12 sweets. Again, if I want to know what the probability of picking a green or a blue is, I'd have the probability of a green is 3 in 12. Or is a plus, a blue is 4 in 12. So the probability of picking a green or a blue is 7 in 12. And we can see that because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. So it's seven out of 12. So that's and and or in probability. So some really basic questions to get you started in the, in the booklet. Have a race through those questions. I'm sure you'll find them really easy. And then we'll come back and we'll look at some more stuff to do with probability.